I'd like to invite Andy Gutenack to speak to you today a little bit about stewardship. Good morning. My name is Andy Gutenack, and I just want to talk a little bit this morning about stewardship. I'll try to keep this relatively brief, but as much as I love CHT, I've been singing and attending here for over 20 years. I really wanted to talk today not so much about this particular church, but about the concept of stewardship itself, and to ask the question, what is stewardship, and how does scripture and the church teach us to think about stewardship? I think a lot of times we gloss over the word stewardship, because either we've grown numb to it, because we've maybe lived through more than our fair share of stewardship campaigns, or maybe we're new to the church and it's not really a word that comes up much in, in life outside of the church. So what is stewardship? Or maybe another helpful way of thinking about it is, what would the opposite of stewardship look like? And I'd like to argue that the opposite of stewardship is the concept of ownership. An ownership mentality says that we worked hard for something, and therefore it's ours to use however we want. A stewardship mentality, on the other hand, recognizes that something belongs to someone else, and that we've simply been entrusted with it for a particular purpose. So in conversation, I'll often hear people say things like, oh, you deserve it, or you've worked hard for that. And I know those people mean well when they say those things, but those kinds of comments really reveal more of that ownership mentality rather than the stewardship mentality. And the Christian idea of stewardship is different. In the older language of the Sunday morning service in right one, we used to say, all things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee, which comes from scripture in First Chronicles. And there's also the line from the Acts of the Apostles that says, for in God we live and move and even have our being. So while we may work hard for things and we may earn them in one sense of the word, ultimately we believe that everything we do, every ability, every opportunity, comes ultimately from God. Stewardship then means recognizing that and letting go of our own ownership and releasing back into God's hands what God has given us. And here's where the supernatural comes in. I think about the story in the Gospels where the small child presents a few fish and loaves of bread and Jesus takes and multiplies that gift to feed over 5,000 people. And Jesus is risen and alive still, and still has the power to bless and multiply our gifts. And he can do that through us, the church, his body on earth. As members of Christ's body, we have the privilege to gather a portion of what God has given us, and then as members of that church, to work collectively toward the purposes that God has called us. But it takes every member taking a leap of faith believing that God really has given us more than we need as individuals, that God really will take and bless what we give and multiply it in some way, and that God really does have a purpose in this world that we as the church can participate in bringing to completion. So as we approach the end of the year, I invite you to take a leap of faith and commit yourself to giving of yourself financially in the new year so that we, Christ's body, can be the channel through which God multiplies our gifts and creates something new and beautiful, something sacred that will have ripple effects through eternity beyond what we can see or imagine. Thank you. <laughs> 